Mr. Sergeant at Arms, I have some documents you can give them later. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, <clears throat> am I speaking loud enough? Y'all hear me all right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. My name's Dean Allen. I'm from Anderson County. I'm the elected secretary of the Republican Party in Anderson County. I'm here today in a different capacity. I went to Vietnam twice to serve two tours of duty in the United States Army. I uh, spent six years in the South Carolina State Guard. I served uh, as an employee of the Homeland Security Department until a few years ago. And six times I raised my hand and took an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that's what I'm standing here to do today because I am concerned that uh, I'm like a lot of other people. I got friends behind me on both sides of this thing, people I know well and think highly of. And we probably don't disagree on anything but this if we looked at a hundred other issues. They talk about, well, they've got a simple solution to all these problems with concerns about how the federal and state government work and the uh, relationships between them. And this is just their proposal to fix everything. It's the medicine they want you to take to make something better. In 1896, after the Spanish-American War, for the first time, a lot of uh, seriously wounded soldiers were being given morphine as a pain treatment. They discovered the downside was that morphine was highly addictive and people became morphine addicts for life. And our government actually employed the German pharmaceutical company of uh, Bayer Aspirin to find a solution to morphine addiction. And after a lot of medical research, the Bayer Aspirin Corporation found a solution to morphine addiction. They invented a new drug and put it on the market, and it was sold in drugstores all over America, and it was called heroin. So I have no doubt that uh, you're wanting a simple fix solution to something, but the solution being proposed is not, uh, it's more dangerous than the problem being discussed. You gentlemen balance budgets every year. Uh, I'm, I'm just totally uh, frustrated, and I, and I am going to tell you one thing. They talk about that uh, oh, they can write all these safeguards in and guarantee you're going to do certain things. Well, all of you honorable folks wrote all kind of safeguards in when you passed that gasoline tax and promised that you were going to fix potholes with the money, and I'll be glad to take you up to Greenwood Anderson County and show you all the potholes you want. You know, you get close to February 14th and Valentine's Day, and the People on TV and the internet want to sell you a star. You can name your wife or your girlfriend after a star in the sky and it's eternal. Well, pick out somebody you don't like. I'll charge you $50 to name a pothole after them in Anderson County. And I believe I'll make more money than those guys will. It's just simply a bad idea. The scariest thing to me, and I'll say this and sit down and, and give time to other speakers unless you all have a question. But my concern is, uh, again, how are you gentlemen going to, and ladies going to select the people who become the delegates to this new constitutional convention? Some of my friends think that, well, it's going to be a bunch of their Christian brethren sitting around reading the Bible, and it's going to be a bunch of their libertarian friends discussing Murray Rothbard and Ayn Rand and uh, this, that, and the other. Well, the simple fact is, I love every one of you. I, I thank you for the opportunity of speaking before you today, but you're all politicians, and uh, you're going to send bankers and lawyers and lobbyists for special interest to Washington, D.C., and they're going to damage my Constitution. Uh, when I took off the uniform and quit getting paid, I didn't have to go to work anymore or carry a rifle or carry out my duties, but that oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution is a lifetime obligation. And the Constitution is in danger if you pass either one of the bills before you. Unless you have any question for me, I thank you for hearing from me. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time, sir. <coughs> Jeff Kilgren. <coughs> 